Quiero un gorro. Sí, dame Quiero un gorro, porque yo tengo el jersey. O un visor. Mira, o lo que ellos tienen puesto. Interestingly enough, my mom suggests a teaching. And it's funny, because when you're a teenager, everything your mom says is stupid. But that was like a rare time where it was like, hmm, that kind of make, I could see that one, that one. I might roll with. I'm a teacher in Pasco County, specifically at Golf Middle School. When I was ill, I went through a autologous stem cell transplant. And part of the recuperation for that, you're at home and your immunity is not where you could be around people yet. During that period of time, without the students, I missed it terribly. Like I felt very much a hole and uh, you know, a lacking and for that sense of community, sense of purpose and all of that. It's the little things that uh, kids do, a lot of them ain't even necessarily academic. I mean, I remember some days, you know, I'd be real chemo sick and at the end of the day, some kid would be helping clean up the room. And I would think to myself, wow, you know, that kid's only 12, 13, but you know, he's presently showing care for someone else. I felt like for all purposes, I was in great shape. I was lifting weights a couple times a week. I was playing full court basketball. I was doing all kinds of things but I kept having this stubborn, persistent cough. I expected to, you know, just have like pneumonia or something or some kind of scare, but I got an irregular X-ray and then was referred for further testing and it turned out to be a tumor in my chest. It was like the size of my heart in between my heart and lungs in that area in the middle of my chest. And uh, I had another one on my neck and through the biopsies and all that, it was verified as cancer. Dessert. What's up? Go get dessert. It's like grandma's house. There's no rules here. Growing up in this area, that is the team. And uh, I always thought they were cool. You know, we'd be playing football. And of course, you pretend to be on the Buccaneers. I actually got more into it the last few years because when I was in treatment, I would a lot of times be at home on Sundays and before I was very much like a workaholic and constantly doing things but I would be like all right well doctor says sit down and rest sit down and rest and we'll watch TV. Yo those guys are cute! The game was just a crazy experience one of the best experiences I've ever had to be honest a great time with my family you know my mom that doesn't really know anything about football was like blown away by the experience. I knew that I was coming to attend a game, but I did not expect to be on the radio or doing anything wild like that. They were very nice guys. It was wild to be there with somebody that, you know, has won a Super Bowl. Like, that took a bit to sit and think about. Like, man, the guy standing next to me is legit. Been out there, you know, kicking during actual Super Bowls. Like, that's crazy. Truly, thank you all for all the care here at BMT. It uh, truly has made me feel special and you know, very much appreciated. And I'm happy to be transitioning home and done with the transplant. One of the plus sides, I suppose, to the whole cancer experience is it gets rid of all the unnecessary in your life. So there were a lot of things that I thought were extremely important that when I had to sit down and be like, okay, if I died this year, how many of these things would be important? And the amount of things that immediately fell off that list was impressive. And you know, I've tried to remember that since then. <laughs>